guys, I am Matt from SFA and today we are here with the very first episode of Should You Actually Buy It? And this, in this little mini series or episode kind of thing, we will be going through our reviews, all our guns, our kit, etc. All of our other stuff and we'll be saying, should you actually buy it? So today our first episode will, will come with the Scar L, the gas blowback WE Scar L, as seen here. Now, this gun, as in the review, if you're going to check out the review on this gun, um, the annotation will be at the end of this video, and you can go and check it out um, to see if you like it and would like to know any more about it. But should you actually buy it? Now, the SCAR features uh, high kick, um, gas, com gas efficiency, so so, um, but is it really worth it? Now, I, don't, I personally, when I bought it for 130 quid, for 130 quid when I bought it, it was worth it, was kind of worth it. But on the other hand, I've had nothing but problems with this scar. The trigger box inside is completely effed and is basically ruined due to it being used a lot. It needs to be cleaned and it needs a new trigger box. And the parts for it are very, very, very expensive. So if you want to get RA Tech stuff, there's a hundred pound plus for a new trigger box. Um, a new bolt and bolt carrier will cost you another around about hundred pounds. I haven't actually checked the prices, but they're around about that price. And tactical quartermaster, which is a little airsoft, uh, little airsoft shop that sells little pieces for gas blowback rifles and stuff. Um, and mag, the mags as well, they leak. Both of my mags are leaking at the moment and currently need to be fixed. And that requires more money to fix them, which I don't have. Um, but on the other hand, on the other side of this gun is it is great looking. I think this gun is great for replica guns and it's just generally a sexy gun. And when you put this on this wall and you take pictures of it, everyone's like, everyone loves it, everyone likes the look of it and everything. But it's just not practical for what you want. And I personally think that if I had the choice now, I, I would have bought it. But I wouldn't have paid the full price tag for it. I don't think the £275 price tag is really worth this gun. It, for that money, you'll be paying, in the, in, the, in the next year of having this gun, you'll have to pay for more stuff for it. For example, new parts. Um, yeah, basically new parts and everything for it. So I do think this gun is a is a purchase you will you will, might regret after a year. You might be thinking back saying why did I do it because you'll be spending nothing but money keeping it in operation. Um, I I I personally want to keep it just because I love it. I love scars. I want to have a scar. But if I look back now, I might have had a different gas rifle just for because this can be a slight pain in the ass. So should you buy it? For me, for the hundred and fifty pound price tag I bought second hand. Yes, you should. I think that was a great deal and a great price. But I don't think you should buy it for £275, especially for beginners. This scar is definitely, definitely a cultural snap, not for beginners. Do not get it for a first gun. You should not buy it if you're a first person using this gun. So, yeah, my ver so my overall verdict of this, of, of should you buy it, is I think yes, if you get it second hand at a cheap price. Not, don't pay the full bang bug for it, because you'll be forking out a lot more money for this gun in the future and continuing to pay more and more money for it and you will be paying more and, and in return though you do get a fantastic realistic gun but if you cannot afford and haven't got a big budget if you're spending all your money if you, if you spend if you have 275 pounds and you spend it all on the, just a basic scar l from we then you are going to be paying you'll you, you'll have it for a few months and then you'll need to spend more money on keeping it operational so that is my verdict on the SCAR L. If you did like this video and would like this, this series to continue, then please uh, comment what you thought this, this this episode here. And if you liked it, please hit that like button and tell what, uh, feedback in the comment section. If you'd like to go and check out the review on this gun, then go and click the little um, little annotation on the screen. If you would like to go and check out the disassembly of this gun, check out that annotation. If you're watching, please, please do comment, rate and subscribe, as said before. Cheers.